All right, fellow collectors, welcome back to a, another video here with your friendly collector, Phil. Um, on my first video, I had a wonderful, one of the many comments that I got, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, Brewers Cards Forever mentioned that he would really love to see my Nolan Ryan collection, which I had made reference to in my first video. So, I changed the setup a little bit here. Uh, I've got uh, Ricky Henderson over here. If anybody can, uh, can put in the comments what's significant about Ricky Henderson as it applies to Nolan Ryan, I think that uh, that would be really awesome. Uh, I got a little, little Nolan here and the card I pulled from the 83 wax pack the other day. So here we are, this is my binder. This binder is completely full of Nolan Ryan. Let's dig right in. Uh, so the first page, I've got some older stuff. This is one of my favorites, the Walter Johnson uh, Nolan Ryan cards. Sorry for the weird price stickers on there. These are old, old, old sheets that, uh, you know, they get reused and repurposed. As you can see, this poor guy is missing a corner, but I don't care, it's still a Nolan Ryan card. A lot of these cards I acquired when I was very young. <clears throat> so a lot of them, the quality is not great. But, you know, you make do with what you have when you're a kid. Um, the other day when I pulled this from the Chasing Donnie Baseball Pack, uh, I didn't remember if I had this card, but it turns out I actually do. And this one is in significantly better condition. So I'm very happy, happy about that. Uh, as you can see, I do have multiples of some of these cards, so uh, if there's anything you are looking to add to your collection, um, you know, we can always work out a trade. I keep my email in the description below on all of my videos. Feel free to email me at any time. Um, so here you go. I've always loved 86 Tops. Something about that design just is awesome. All the early 80s designs are just fantastic cards. A lot of the cards are going to be from what we all affectionately refer to as the junk wax era. Um, but, uh, you know, I was born in 85, so, you know, that's that was my youth. You know, that's when cards were big. This is a great card here. Nolan in the, uh, the Rangers Uni. The triple, triple exposure, is that what they call that card? I think that's what they refer to it as. A little sports flicks action up there. And then there's the wonderful 90 Donross. And they, you know, there's an error card, or an error that happens with these cards, specifically the 5000K and the King of Diamonds, Diamond King. And that's that the backs are switched sometimes. So the back on here would have the stats that are on the back of the 5000K. And I've got multiples of both of these cards, and I don't have a single error card, which really, really blew my mind. So I am on the lookout for that. Um, if anybody's got one, uh, one of each, then let me know. Maybe we can work something out. Some great cards here. Talking to Mike Scott. They were teammates uh, in Houston. Good old Mike Scott accused of uh, scuffing the ball. He used to have great action on the ball. So, of course, nobody thought it came uh, naturally. And honestly, I can't tell you whether or not it did. Some Mother's Cookies cards up here. Those are super cool. This is a cool card. Um. And you got the tribute cards there from all the different years. Um, you know, first 5,000 strikeouts, hint, hint, wink, wink, to something I mentioned earlier in the video. Some more Mother's cards. This is all the junk wax stuff. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen these cards a hundred times. Always love the tuxedo card. That's great. Love the K-Man. This whole series they did was awesome. I really enjoyed those. Nolan and his son. I'm, 
I don't remember his name. I thought I did, but I don't. And it might be on there, but I'm not trying to look. <clears throat> 91 tops, beautiful set. I really would love to get the Desert Shield variation of this card, but they're extremely valuable and people. It's hard to, hard to get a hold of them. Love this one. I mentioned before, I always love the art cards. So there's another beautiful art card. It's an awesome one. More Mother's Cookies cards. This is a cool card from Pinnacle with the little you know, blueprinty type drawings on there and whatnot. Nolan on his horse. Nolan beef. Nolan Ryan beef. It's delicious. <clears throat> Record breaker. Some good cards. A member's choice. Oh, I remember always hunting. Hunting for the member's choice cards. Man, gotta love them. Pacific. Gotta love the... I mean, people go crazy for this now. For refractors or whatever you want to call it. It's wild. This one here. This card's not backwards. That's just a checklist. But it's got Nolan on it. This Ultra card is really, I mean, the picture on there is really gorgeous. And the resolution, it just looks really great. <clears throat> yep, pulling on the horse again. Some of my favorites here. Um, Sports Illustrated for kids. You can tell I was a kid and I tore the corner, which makes me sad. But what can you do? At least I have it. That makes me happy. This one, you should know what that picture's from. That's from the No One Knows Bo game when Bo Jackson hit a hit a ground ball back to him and it hit him, I believe it hit him on the heel of the glove and popped up and split his lip and he wouldn't come out of the game. He kept pitching. You don't get that kind of stuff these days. A bunch of the checklists. A lot of the times when I have it in multiple, I'll put like the nicest version by itself and then I'll stack the extras behind but as y'all know Upper Deck Collector's Choice are notorious for bricking up so that's why these are all separate this one's a silver signature I think they had gold signatures in this series as well I'd love to get a gold signature version of this card that would be awesome always love the hot shots that have the the heat change just a cool little quirky gimmick thing that they did. <laughs> this is actually a phone card for those of us old enough to know what a phone card is. There you go. There's one right there. This is great. One of my favorite things. When I was a kid, that fight with Robin Ventura, I, I probably watched this clip on YouTube at least 10 times a year. It just makes me happy to see an old man beat up. I think Robin Ventura was 19 19 years old when he did that, when he charged the mound. Made the worst decision of his professional career. <clears throat> oh, here's a better shot of it. With Pudge hanging on his back. Good times. Love Opeechee. Always looking for Opeechee, by the way. I really want to get the uh, like 80s and 70s versions, the Opeechee versions of players that I collect talking to urban card breaks about that super cool guy check him out like and subscribe hit the little bell for him love the art cards this is a great reprint um one day one day i will acquire a nolan ryan rookie card but uh today is not that day this card is supposedly one of fifteen thousand doesn't even have a maker on the back. It's, I don't know. I don't even remember where I got that card, but I love it. It's great. Turn back the clock. Love the Cooperstown cards. I've been looking at these as I've been going through my collection. Uh, and it's surprising how many of this set. There's 30 in the set. It's, it's funny to go back and look at how many of these they got wrong guys that are not going to make it to Cooperstown. They got a, they got quite a few of them right, but there's plenty of them that are wrong. And here's the Baseball hero set, and it's, I, it's not complete. I'm missing um, 
There's 18 of them. And I only have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. I only have seven of them, so I have a lot to finish out this set. So if anybody has these, I know people have been doing breaks of upper deck. This is 91 upper deck. Um, let me know. I would love to finish it out. Um, that would be great. This is a great card right here. Beautiful Nolan Ryan. I got this not long ago. And then this is out of Leather and Lumber, the die cut. Very cool card. It'd be cooler if it had, you know, the actual uniform on there, but Panini. You know how that goes. And then the good old Pepsi Cola set. This is a very cool set. It is complete, which makes me very happy. Nolan is dog. Good stuff. And then this is, who released this? Pacific. This is that big Pacific set that uh, they did one for Tom Seaver as well. And it just kind of goes through. And on the back of each card, it's got, you know, a cool little bit of information about Nolan's career. Here's a picture of Nolan batting. Um, something he definitely wasn't known for. Here's the grip on that four-seamer. One of the greatest pitchers to ever play the game. In my mind, he's number one, but... Um, yeah, he played for so many bad teams. <clears throat> and, you know, he would just as soon walk you as give you a hit. So, he's got a ton of walks. But... Uh, how this guy didn't get a 100% vote for the Hall of Fame just blows my mind. 27-year career. I mean, that'll never be done again. I shouldn't say that. It, it may be done again, but not the way this guy did it. Oh, there he's batting again. <laughs> In his short shorts. Come on, Nolan. The high leg kick. Intimidation at its finest. Nolan with the family. Nolan on the ranch. Good times. And there's the last page. There's 110 cards in that set. So, that is my entire Nolan Ryan collection. Thanks so much for watching. Please do remember to uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, please check out these awesome guys uh, that are popping up now. Uh, fantastic people. Really enjoy their uh, content. Super kind. Very supportive. Um, my dog. Shout out. You got the Jose Canseco out there. I'll be uh, I'll be digging out that collection probably next. So stay tuned. Thanks again. Have a good one.